are in our QuickBooks Online test company file using the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top and switching the view down below. We're going to duplicate some tabs to put reports in by going to the tab up top and duplicating it. And then we're going to right click on that duplicated tab to duplicate it again. Back to the tab to the middle. Go into the plus drop down. I'm sorry, not the plus drop down. We want to go to the reports down at the bottom and open up the balance sheet report, tabbing to the right, back to the reports on the left. This time the profit and loss or income statement, closing the hamburger, changing the range. 010123 tab 123123 and running it to refreshing it and tabbing to the middle in it and then closing the hamburger in it and then changing the range in it. 010123 tab 123123 tab, running it to refreshing it and so there we have it so let's go back to the first tab we've been taking a look at these reoccurring transactions we set up a couple last time let's review them we're going to go into the cog drop down up top we go into these recurring transactions i call them reoccurring trans but they're recurring there's no a apparently but in any case we set up two of these we've got the sales receipt we've got the invoice now the sales receipt if we can set that up from our side from the collection side would typically be beneficial to us because if we can uh, legit le legitimately set that up and get the permissions and everything to do so that would be more of an automatic type of system you can imagine basically if you have a subscription type of model to basically pay us kind of automatically that would be great uh, but the other uh, choice would be the invoice which gives more leeway to the a recipient to see how they're going to be setting up their options so we sent both of these out now let's take a look at what the email uh looks like so this is the sales receipt uh email we have the default email that we set up dear j customer please review the sales receipt below we appreciate it very much have a great day and then down below we have the sales receipt and so the payment basically happening uh you know automatically and they also have their attachment here for the sales receipt that they can uh, print out. So that's great. Let's take a look at the invoice. So the invoice take, looks like a normal kind of invoice process, right? So we, so, so now it's not just an automatic payment. We weren't able to set up basically the automatic payment. So they get the invoice on their side and then they're going to have to take action like a normal invoice. So we have the Dear J customer, we appreciate your business. Please find our invoice details here. Feel free to contact us, have a great day. And then uh, the inter, so here's the bill to the interval every month, the terms uh, net 30. And here's the information on the services. And then we have the review and pay here. And we also have the review and pay up top. So let's go into the review and pay and check that out. So we have their normal kind of setup options that they have. They got the debit, they've got the credit bank account. These are through the payment options that we set up. So we would have to have the recurring payments that we, we set up as well as the QuickBooks payment options uh, to be given them this many payment options like we saw in prior presentations. Let's check out if I go uh, to the credit card. Of course, we've got the credit card number, the name, save payment method for faster future payments. So they can sign in and basically save their payment method. And then down here, we have the auto. So it says pay this invoice on time every time and they could set up the auto payment. So if they set up the auto payment, then our auto invoices you would think would be similar to the sales receipts in which case they would be paid kind of automatically but you can see it takes that added step on uh the the customer side to to set it up with the invoice as opposed to the sales receipt all right back to quickbooks over here let's take a look at we've received one of these payments on our side so let's go back into the ham buggy and let's go down to uh the sales items and take a look at these are our uh, sales transactions. So I'm in the sales transactions. And if I scroll down, we can see this one. This is the sales receipt that we received here with an auto generated sales receipt that it gives us in the memo. So if I go into that or click on that, it gives us the information on the side. 